uh, presented a case series of anti-IGLON-5 disease patients I um, found in the surrounding of Münster, Germany. So the anti-IGLON-5 disease was first described in 2014 by the Barcelona group and this is a neuroimmunological disorder associated to antibodies to IGLON-5. IGLON-5 is an molecule which is on the, on the nerve cells and the antibody is working against this. The patient show up with very different symptoms. They show sleep disordered breathing on the one hand, but what is much more important, they have a kind of parasomnia. And this parasomnia is not only during non-REM sleep, but also during REM sleep. Parasomnia during REM sleep is called REM sleep behavior disorder. And what I presented in my uh, presentation was that this REM behavior disorder is present in nearly all patients with anti iglon 5 disease. And what do we know about this disease now? So we know that the average age of disease onset is above 60 years. And men and women are um, affected equally. And we know that the presentation of the disease can be very heterogeneous. So some patients start with the sleep disorder, but some start with kind of PSP-like syndrome. Some start with um, movement disorders, which might be similar to Korea. And some start with gait instability, some other starts with autonomic dysfunction. And so it's very heterogeneous. But what all have in common is the sleep disorder. This is what we know now, but we don't know the future because it was described 2014. So the future will bring new information about this disease. And the cause of, of the disease is at the moment lethal within a few months in some patients and some patients have a chronic cause of disease and during the cause of the disease they exhibit different symptoms and in the eight patient I saw in our clinic they the during the cause of the disease they um, got nearly all of the described symptoms I said before so this is a challenging disease. We try to treat these patients and um, treatment is not very successful. What we do is um, anti-immunological um, treatment, of course, because we think this is an uh, autoimmune disorder. Only a few patients showed a, 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 in a decrease of their symptoms after, after the uh, uh, treatment, only a few you have to uh, do antibody testing you should make a neurological examination of course and you have to make a polysomnography to find the parasomnia and the sleep disorder the sleep disorder is mainly uh, obstructive sleep apnea with stridor or without stridor and in some cases uh, central hyperventilation syndrome is described and to rule out other paraneoplastic um, encephalitis you need the lumbar puncture and the examination for other antibodies associated to autoimmune encephalitis of course. What um, is also important to um, underline the hypothesis that this is an autoimmune disease is that they have a high association to, an HLA, to the HLA system. So uh, nearly all patients have the same HLA allele found till now. So, so what did we also do in this patient? We did imaging and we looked for cancer but didn't find uh, changes in the MRI or uh, did find any cancer. Would could be associated to paraneoplastic encephalitis, for example. And what is important, I think, 
is to uh, ask patients with, um, with a combination of neurological symptoms um, to ask them for sleep disorders to find these patients with anti iglon 5 because I believe um, there are much more anti iglon 5 patients in the population than, than described till now because in the literature only about a hundred patients are described till now all around the world in Europe, UK, North America, South America, Asia everywhere around the world so this is an interesting disease, I think, and we have to learn more about this disease.